Hey, hey, what's going on today, my fellow YouTubians? So today we're going to be going over how to save your animated Photoshop file into an actual GIF file so that you can upload it to the internet as well as social media platforms, etc. Now, I've already created my own GIF file. Um, I'm a total nerd, so I cosplayed as Goku, and I turned myself into Super Saiyan 2 into Photoshop. And assuming you've already created your animated file in Photoshop, I'm going to be showing you guys all the best settings that you can possibly use to now export it to that actual GIF file. So first what you're going to do simply is locate to file and then go to save for web. Uh, if you want to use the quick key for Windows, it's Alt, Shift, Control, plus S all at the same time. For Mac users, it may be a little bit different, but again, you just have to locate to file and then save for web. So once you open uh, this up, you'll see that your quality for the GIF might be a little distorted at first. No worries. We're going to go ahead and totally fix this. I'm going to show you guys a few different settings to make it either the best quality or the best file size and or both in this case. So at the bottom here, right under your picture, you're going to see the, the word GIF. Um, 289.7K is the total file size. Again, this might be different for what you're seeing currently. However, we're going to go ahead and update this right now. So at the very top right, you're going to see preset. Go ahead and click the little down arrow next to preset, and it's already given pre-selection, and you're going to go to GIFT128 Dithered. Now, once you click on GIFT128 Dithered, uh, you're going to see all these presets change around. First, what you're going to go to is colors, and you're going to select the down arrow next to that, and you're going to go to 256. Now, this is going to add a lot of file size onto your GIFT. However, it is making it currently the best quality. I'm going for quality here. You can go for file size. You simply have to switch between 128 to 256, depending on what you want. You're going to go ahead and leave the dither alone. 88% uh, is fine. If yours is different, uh, go ahead and change it from anywhere from 75 to about 90%. Um, it kind of transitions the smoothness around, but I found 88 to be about the exact sweet spot. Uh, these two here, you're going to see selective and diffusion. Go ahead and leave those if they're already selected or change them to selective and diffusion. Make sure transparency is checked off. And right under here, you're going to see what's called interlace. Now, interlace downloads it in multiple passes. However, it is going to up your file size significantly. So if you want it to be the best quality, you're going to select interlace. If you don't really notice any change or you want to keep your file size lower, make sure that you do not select interlace in this case. Now, right under here, you're going to see convert to SRBG. Uh, I'm sorry, SRGB. This is really for uh, a kind of a Windows Microsoft thing. I always kind of select it. It's, to be honest, it, it just creates a smoother transition when you look at it on computers. So once you have that checked, you're going to look over everything else. Don't worry too much about the, the preview or the metadata. And again, this color table, it's automatically selecting the, the most pertinent colors for you. So just kind of leave that alone. Um, you're going to look over your file size. I'm sorry, your image size the percentage of, of what you're resizing it and um, the quality down at the bottom you're going to see a few different things but the best quality I've seen is bicubic sharper so once you have that selected and make sure everything else is checked off here and I will go ahead and drop all the settings down right below in the description to make sure you have everything perfect just like I do you're gonna go ahead and click save at the very bottom now you're gonna save this to a reasonable spot and also name it so let's see here super sane gif and then you're going to save it to your desktop or wherever you want to save it essentially and once you save it you're going to go ahead and open it up let's see here desktop and super sane gif right. boom now as you can see i went ahead and did the highest quality possible here it looks almost identical to our photoshop file and that is how you're going to create the best possible quality gift as an export. Go ahead and change the settings around if you want a lower quality but better sized gift. However, regardless the situation, thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you enjoy my video. Uh, I love my prescriber, my prescribers, hello, my subscribers. And I really, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video. Thank you so much. Have a great day or night.